hello friends and welcome back to this today's video in this video I'm gonna show you some powerful features of ASP.NET MVC application that are view back view data temp data and session so let's get started firstly we're gonna see what is view back so I'll give you overview of view back view back in MVC is a dynamic property of controller based class which is used to hold data it's a dynamic property which is used to hold temporary data so you can store any kind of temporary data in this view back property and it is used to pass information between a controller and a view and it can be accessed by a razor on a view page as you can see here in the example given below this is the example how you are retrieving the data from a controller to a view through you back, uh, view back so this is all about view back let's move to the next slide and let's talk about view data it's a dictionary object it's not a dynamic property as view back it's a dictionary object which is also used to store temporary data and it also uses to pass data between a controller and a view and it is similar to view back but there is one difference between a view back and a view data that is view back doesn't require typecasting you don't need to be typecast view back but view data requires typecasting and view data contains a string value pair which I'll show you in the uh, example program let's move to the next slide now we'll talk about temporary data temp data it's also a temp dictionary type derived from temp data dictionary class and temp data in ASP.NET MVC is used to store temporary data but there is one difference between a view data and a temp data the view data is used to pass data from controller to a view but temp data is used to pass data between two controllers of as well as it works with the redirects also if you want to redirect to any particular action method then temp data you, you can use temp data now we'll talk about session session is similar to temp data session and temp data are similar they both use to pass data between two controllers and it also works with redirects also so let's see in the demo application firstly I'm gonna create a view back property in my index action in home controller let's give name as John in the next line I'll give view data property it's a dictionary object as you can see here string key you have to give string value pair so let's give info as these objects contains temporary data which is used to pass from a controller to a view you can give email no not email some particular information John is a good person you can use this view back property and view data on our index view page let's take temporary data and let's say contact of John contact number I'll give one two three four five six and I'll take session now because this is also a part of our chapter today's tutorial so what we gonna take is let's take an email ID of John and let's say 
john at the rate gmail dot com so we have taken these all properties in our action method now we'll try to access these properties on our view page because we are in index action method so we need to write we need to access these properties on our index view page it is here let's take a diff tag let's say a container bootstrap class and let's take h1 tag and this is razor at the rate symbol represents razor razor so we are accessing those objects those properties from a controller to the view using this razor let's take view back dot name because we have given this name here you can see here view back dot name this one and let's take another has two tag another hashtag that is has to tag and let's access view data what we have given here info copy this and paste it here and let's run this application and let's see how it looks on our browser will it access on a view page or not let's see it may take some time to load to get compiled then till then i would like to show you some interesting stuff to get started with asp.net some of you may not know about asp.net so if you want to start with if you want to get started with asp.net you can visit this site asp.net it's official website from microsoft you can download visual studio from here and .net core is also available you can get started with here and this is also a good site cshopconnor.com and msdn is one of the greatest sites i would like to suggest you and this is my personal blog that is techgeekm.techblog tech dog blog i used to upload my new videos and i used to post everything about asp.net so you can visit this and you can follow me on this blog so our application is ready uh, by default it's on our home page the asp.net runs the home page that is index action see here you can see below we are having view back dot name property john and view data info that is john is a good person we can easily access that two properties let's stop this application and i'll show you this uh, I'll, I'll show you about this stem data and session because stem data and session can't be accessed on index page because we are in we are currently in index action method as i said this stem data and session works with redirects so it doesn't appear on the index page so i i would like to redirect this action method to an another action that is contact save this let's go to the contact action method which is down here and what I'm gonna do is when I try to route my application when I when I try to visit to this index action method it redirects to the contact page because of this line it redirects to the action uh, contact page contact action method which is here 
and our contact page our contact view page is here so let's try to access those temporary data properties on this view page the name should must match which I have given in our controller that is contact and in the next line I would like to access session this as this is ASP.NET MVC application we can access temporary data and session properties with redirects easily in ASP.NET Core application we may not we need to inherit some classes so let's save this and let's run this application as it takes some time let's close this previous tab and I was showing you my personal blog you can visit this I have recently uploaded one new post for ASP.NET Core and if you are a newbie then you can visit this blog and you can get started with it and I have also given a quick introduction on ASP.NET Core you can see this video let's we are currently on a contact page and it is not showing our temporary data and session data here after the viewback dot message these lines are not rendering because we have given those two properties stem data and session in a action method in an index action method so firstly we need to redirect our application to the index action method then afterwards it will it will redirect to the contact page then we can see the properties on our contact view page so let's give index here and it will redirect to our page as you can see here before it is not showing it was not showing now it is showing that the contact number and the email ID which we have given on our contact view page the contact and an email ID so this is all about the view back view data temporary data and session in ASP.NET MVC hopefully you like this video you enjoyed this video thanks for watching for watching this video I'll see you in the next video